I want to ask you a question. Who's coaching you? Who's asking you the tough questions? Who's telling you, man, you're the common denominator to all of your issues and challenges? Who's telling you, man, all day long, you become the magnetic pulse that attracts to you both good and bad? I want to be your life coach. I want to be the one that cheers you on to the finish line. I want to be the one that you ask the tough questions. And it doesn't mean that I have all the answers. But that means that you have a partner. Someone who believes in you. Not the you you see right now. But the you you can't imagine. The you that you are to become. The you you were destined to be. I always say we both need the positive and the negative. It's not enough to have the knowledge of the matter. But we must have the wisdom as well. For well, wisdom settles it. And that's what I want to offer you as you join me on the Coach's Corner. I want to offer you the wisdom of the matter. Maybe it might be relationships. Talking about our campaigns for more, for life. The dark room for our subconscious. Our spiritual journey. Whatever it is, I want to be there to encourage you, to build you, to challenge you, to cheer you on to the finish line. I'm qualified to do this. Why? Because I'm you. Because I'm you. Well, thank you for another joining us for another edition of the Coach's Corner right here on SIBN Radio. We've got some feedback coming from somewhere. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, but we want to welcome you to the Coach's Corner from around the world. Those of you that are listening on the various platforms where we air, we want to always say thank you. And for those of you that have been following us right there on our block website, uh, 415-96radio.com. That's www.415-96radio.com. We also want to thank you for joining us uh, also on the block radio programming. Those following us on Twitter, thank you so very much for your support as we move forward in broadcasting. And uh, we got some technical things going on here in the studio. I uh, trust that the guys will get it together and we will be okay. I'm hearing something from somewhere. So if you guys want to double check, uh, you don't know what it is. So we're just going to move on. Anyhow, <laughs> we're not going to be long today. Should be okay. Today's thought is, have we wasted too much time? and money check okay we got a real serious buzz here so let's give the technicians a moment to see if they can fix what's going on standby okay we just Got to get some new things going on here in the studio. <clears throat> um, have we wasted too much time is the question for today. Uh, and have we wasted too much money? Uh, it's just something that I was thinking about as I was looking back over the last 24, 36 months of doing business, commerce, uh, building relationships, networking. Uh, and I know that uh, the wisdom of the matter would be that we have, <clears throat> excuse me, we have truly um, learned, hopefully we have learned from the instances that we have been involved in, the circumstances, the people, the groups that we have been, been involved in. But sometimes I think that it takes a lifetime of foolishness. I don't mean to say a lifetime, but it takes a lifetime lack of a better word, a foolishness to drive us to purpose because uh, the thing that you thought you were extremely excited about, couldn't wait to build, couldn't wait to uh, organize. Once you reach the end of that, you are still empty. And so you're wondering, OK, I need to know why do I feel this way? Have I wasted my time with this project, with this person, with this group? Was it a waste of time? And truly, it's not a waste of time. But I mean, it's just a, like a rhetorical question. 
uh, because if you've gleaned the lessons from those situations, um, by all means, it's not a waste of time because that's how we learn. We learn through the things we suffer, really, to be honest with you. And uh, we learn through we learn through the things that we we choose to have a, a different perspective on. You know, as long as you have your own perspective, it's hard to to glean anything from anything. But if you if you're willing to step out, see it differently, hear it differently, uh, engage it differently, it's almost like you know people that have wisdom need to also be open for wisdom and not always be giving wisdom. I need some help right there. Something pushed me right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, but then the other question is, are, are we wasting money? How many thousands of dollars could we be saving in a retirement fund somewhere from projects that just didn't go anywhere, from networks that didn't flesh out anything, from, uh, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, and, and not, you know, we can't, woulda, shoulda, coulda, you know, look back, but it's just retrospective as we go forward just wondering, you know, have we wasted resources trying to find our way? And the answer really is yes. You're going to waste resources, hopefully not on purpose. But it's like, you know, with the police getting a false 911 call, who knows how much that one particular hour costs? It may cost $37,000, may cost 78000 depending on where it is, who what the nature of the call was. You, you understand what I'm saying? $78,000 for a prank 911 call, which they have been doing uh, somewhat here lately in the, on the West Coast. You know, let's just say if it was $87,000 out the window because someone decided to prank call 911. I'm just wondering, you know, what is it in our lives that we have just done that has no relativities so to speak now the aspect of the Christian uh, if you was to go by Christian principle is that all things work together for the good for the for those that are the called according to his purpose and somebody might say well what does that mean you know but it just simply means that there is no waste under grace I felt that right there there's no waste under grace <clears throat> that God can use anything in all things to advance you to the purpose that he already planned and the potential that he's already seen in you and I. And really, that's all I have to say uh, for today is that, you know, are we wasting time and money? I mean, it just it, it comes to it comes a time in our lives when we have to say, you know what? I am not going to waste any more time on this issue. I'm not going to waste any more time. I mean, you look back on your life, you say, man, why was I so X, Y, and Z toward X, Y, and Z? Or why was I so gung-ho and so excited? Why was I? Because you know, the maturation process is very unpredictable at times. The, the, growth, the growth cycle process is very unpredictable, but we keep trying. We keep pushing. And some, you know, never, they never admit any introspective uh, uh, meditative thoughts at all they swear that everything they did was right and every move that they made was good and that every person they connected with yielded fruit and because of they or who they are and highly favored and I'm blessed everything worked out so perfectly and if you do it just like I do it then you would have the results I have book rap that's not true every person is different Every effort is different. Every effort yields a different result. You can do the same effort that I did on a project and get a different result because every effort is interpreted different, differently. And sometimes we just have to st step back and say, you know what? I did my best at the time with the information that I knew I did my best. Because if you're not careful, you you know, if you're not careful, you'll get in a rebellious mode where you just and sometimes rebellion is good. Sometimes a revolt is good. I'm not talking about in a negative sense, but sometimes the fact that we can put a halt to our normal, our normal schedule, our normal schedule and say, you know what? I'm not going to do what I would normally do. I'm not going to do what I would normally do. I'm going to do what I normally would not do. And, you know, I call it opposite behavior modification. I'm not going to do what I normally would do. I'm going to do what I normally wouldn't do. And I'm not going to do what I'm comfortable with, but I'm going to do what I'm uncomfortable with. 
And there's a thought that I've had in my mind. You know, this is a rhetorical conversation I'm having with you. There's a thought that I've had in my mind for some time about doing X, Y, and Z. And I've done everything else around it, but I have not done me. And so now I'm going to take the time to stop running around with everyone else and plant this thought in the ground with some action steps. I didn't mean to make that rhyme, but since I have your time and we need more than just a dime, I thought I'd drop that on you. It's just that time to stop wasting time and money because we don't have much more of it to waste. But unfortunately, we still will waste more time and money. <laughs> the point is, if we are somewhat aware of it, we can make an inroad. For instance, I'll give you a little simple example, kind of stupid, but simple example. You know, I remember when I was on my son about his room and my father was on me about our room like, oh, my God, you thought it was the White House the way he was on us. I carried those things over. Don't work. Why doesn't it work? Because what's relative today is not the room. It was relative when there was no other distractions. The room was the center of attention, how clean it was, how organized. Today, kids are are distracted a thousand times one. And so the room is no longer the center of attention. Now, for someone who doesn't have a room, that, that's a different that's a different question. It's a different conversation. But for those that have, uh, you know, you know, lower middle class, upper middle class, uh, you know, that have my son has a very my, my, actually my son has two rooms. And the struggle is different in my mind than it is in his mind, because the room is not the center of attention. So, you know, when we give place to old principles without realizing that the principle must be practiced by people, then we ruin people in the name of principle and the principle never is realized. I need some help. Something pushing me right there. Some people are so principle centered. That's almost like the Republican Party. I'd hate to go political for a quick second, but it's nothing wrong with the P P Republican Party being principle centered and the old Republican Party. You know, the, the principles of the old public Republican Party were very, very, very healthy for America, if you think about it. And I'm not saying that, you know, because I was a Republican. That's why I can speak on it. <laughs> I was a Republican coming out of high school, a voted Republican for a number of years. Uh, and I'm just using this to make a point. You you start and start to see now in the Republican Party, as you are starting to see in our own personal lives, that there is a freakness going on with principle centered living. Why? Because principle centered living cannot be void of people who have to live by the principle. If we treat the people that have to adopt the principle and put the principle in action like crap, then the principle in and of itself is null and void because we ourselves have negated certain principles that we should be practicing as we teach the principle that we want practiced. <laughs> I need some push. I need some help. <laughs> and so, I mean, you know, when you look at this, the landscape, look at the landscapes uh, politically. In the name of principle, we shout. I'm right. But the way we're treating people. We need to admit we're wrong. I just heard a statement the other day. I don't mean to go political on you. I'm so sorry. I heard a statement the other day by uh, someone. I don't know if they started the Heritage Foundation, but they said that, that in general, they did not believe that Hispanics or until Hispanics equal the intelligence of whites, they should not have a path to citizenship or that the fact that they will never equal the intelligence of white. I mean, just you'd be surprised in the name of principle. Now what you, you'll hear on both sides of the aisle for, for that matter, <laughs> you know, but I'm saying Republican because I used to vote Republican. I used to be a Republican. I was a staunch Republican. I, I read the national review in the ninth grade. So when I say I was a Republican, I, 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 I subscribe to foreign policy issues uh, that the Republican party, not to preempt a doctrine, but I'm just saying. And so I can understand that my father was a Republican and my mom was a Republican. So, I mean, I, I can speak on the issue, but the point of the matter is when you look back, you know, you, you start asking yourself, have I wasted time and money and resources, even in my political stance? And the answer really, is yes and no but the point of the matter is it's time it's getting late in the evening here 
it's getting late in the evening here. I don't, I don't have time to be hitting and missing. I need to have bullseye from here on out. I need to have bullseye from here on out. I don't need to be hitting and missing. I don't need to be off course here. I need to be, you know. And so you ask yourself these tough, these tough questions and you say, you know what? I'm going to have to change some things. Cause I can't, I, 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 I don't have any more time to, time to waste and money to waste. Let me talk to you about money wasting. I was thinking about some equipment, this, that, and the other. And of course, a lot of you reach out and a lot of you do not reach out at all. It's just, you're just as cold as ice. You listen every week, but you just, you will not reach out for whatever. So I stopped asking, uh, but we wanted to get some equipment to do this, that, and the other. And I said, you know what? We're going to use the same equipment until it, until it drop dead. You know, we put the website up there, www. We support select USA TV for people to join. That's a joke. People, people, I don't know what it is. It's just, you know, until you get on Oprah or CNN or, uh, or, or something like that, people just don't get you. They don't get you that you're powerful. You know, you have to keep believing it yourself. And I mean, sometimes you ask yourself in the, in, in the, in the, in the hall of your efforts, you know, have I wasted my time and money with this radio station or radio program? Because I'm not getting out of it what I want. Well, you have to be patient. You have to say, you know what, we're going to use what we're going to use. And we're going to be true to the game because we believe this is this is part of our purpose. This is part of what we're called to do. But in the meantime, in the meantime, we're not going to waste investing in more money if we don't have a response from the public on what we already got. You see, that's an example about wasting money, going out and getting more of this and more of that. And uh, here recently, I just said to myself, you know what? It's just time to change the strategy. It's time to change the strategy. It really, really is. And, 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 and you know, I mean, because we can't we can, we cannot afford any more misses. I'm just saying. We just, we just can't. You know, recently I, I heard of a good friend of mine who met another person that would have been a friend of mine had my parents and I got along more re regarding getting out of the house and making friends. You know, they were real strict in regarding who you hung with. And I said to myself, you know, if this person hooks up with this person, I'm done. I mean, I'm not done with the person, but I'm saying I'm I'm done. Life has ran its course. Uh and, uh, you know, I guess you guys say, OK, what is that about? But the point of the matter is, it's I it's irony to see someone that you wanted to be friends with. You know, back in the school days, be friends with your best friend from school. <laughs> it's just it's just weird. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, uh, stranger things have happened, you know. And so we can't waste time trying to figure it out and, you know, trying to play, uh, play God and try to, you know, match and, you know, untangle and unravel. Just accept it and move the heck on because all of us are on borrowed time. I got to get ready to get out of here. I told you it was going to be over 10 minutes ago, but I'm just serious. I want to encourage you, you know, if you're wasting time, try to cut, cut the waste. If you're wasting money, you know, a lot of things we buy, we just don't need. I've been asking myself that question. We just hooked on stuff. Like I love bags and cups. You know, that's my weakness. And some of y'all weakness is way worse than mine. Y'all little rims and, you know, stereo sets and stuff. I used to have a speaker fetish, but I'm over the speaker part. <laughs> you know, I mean, I have so many speakers. It's just unreal, you know. Uh, but, you know, how much time are we wasting when we could be fulfilling our purpose? That's That's the name of the game. And you have to ask yourself the question. Am I wasting too much time? And chances are you are wasting too much time. You don't you feel bad. Beat yourself up. But that means it's just time to make a difference. It's time to do something different. It's time to do something different. And try to redeem as much time as you can. You know, even, even the simple things in life require attention that the more complicated things of life will become simple. Rewind and listen to that statement again. <laughs> the planting of a flower. I mean, you talk about wasting time. How about the time that we don't have for the sim 
simple things in life that will help make the complex things more simple and save us all time and money. But we 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 can't we don't want to condescend down to family time or garden time or you know washing and organizing our car time because we're so busy grinding and making things happen and we're so favored and we got appointments and we got this and we got that when in all reality the balance and the modesty of life is in the wisdom of each moment not in the knowledge of each moment take it for what it's worth just a coach until then take care of yourself